show her that again. You're taking your, and I always, if you got fingernails, I ha, can't, need a profession I have at, lets me have nails. But just kind of lay your finger to the side, come around. Here's the, this is a zygomatic arch. Just to come across. You're coming back around the ear. You station tube and down. Here, like that. And you'll see he'll do some swallowing. Okay, but he's been one of us to bother him. He's saying, leave me alone now. <laughs> And then, of course, the mouth. And what I do is to kind of help you get a feel for this, what I do around the mouth, is I ask you to take your finger and go around your mouth. So everybody take your finger and go around your mouth. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. And just kind of pay attention to how you're starting to get a little slobber. You're feeling kind of like, hmm, I want to swallow. Good something now to have a good drink. Cold. Huh? That's what you're doing. You're stimulating that. In the next few minutes, you'll be saying, hmm, I think I want me something to eat. This is also a good one, too. Cardiovascular um, doctors sometimes will teach our patients that, because I worked in cardiovascular for 16 years, to control your heart rate. Because this, this, this nerve that's going around your mouth is connected to your heart, lungs, and your gastrointestinal area. So sometimes I have my patients just kind of, they're having palpitations or they're just, have gotten real tacky or whatever, I have them go just nice and slow around their Any questions? Guess what? We're out of time. <laughs> you can go home and quit hearing my voice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. During the day, they said, what's the day it's just good to Do you have like a particular time where you suggest it's best, maybe before a bath, after a bath, before feeding, after feeding? I used to do my great grandbabies before, when I wake up, when they wake up in the morning, I bathe them, and then right before bedtime. And then my older grandchildren now, which we'll see, my older grandchildren now are not toddlers anymore, but when they were toddlers, like one and two, I usually would get them around bedtime. Uh, well, Snow Lachey's a toddler, so she's three, but she's a great grandbaby. So when she comes over, I'll do her bath, and then we'll do her, and she's like, yeah. So then you do all the massage strokes except the mouth. Mouth. Mm -hmm. so you don't mm -hmm. want I just love the stroking on the back, her legs. Mm -hmm. And even if you got, if you're sitting at the doctor's office or you're at a movie or you're over a friend's house and the kids are sitting, you know how the kids will get antsy or fidgety or in church, it, you can do the mas you can do a nice massage. It's okay, honey. You sit still. And the next thing you know, you'll be like, I have a lot of people at my church. They always bring me, can you watch Johnny for a minute? Can we take him? Okay, come on, Johnny. And I'll be sitting there just rubbing him. And next thing you know, they'll look back and they're like, thank you. Because <laughs> I'm putting to sleep. You know, he's gone gone to sleep because he's gotten relaxed there. So. And it also works on newborn mom and dads. Okay. Because <laughs> you guys know the tension. You know, she's had the baby two months and... She's an old pro now, you know. Mm -hmm. Her sister-in-law is supposed to have her baby any minute now. Okay. But uh, don't forget to do each other. I think that's a good yes. point. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Because, <laughs> yes. see, uh, us ladies have been married a long time. My husband starts going in on about something. I don't want to argue with it. I just start rubbing his hand and mm -hmm. then rubbing up his arm. Mm -hmm. And by the time I get up to the shoulders... He has no idea what he was. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, you can make it a family orientation. You can, yeah. Yes, but never stops. It really truly doesn't. I think, too, especially like your kids get a little older, we forget they still need that closeness with us. And, uh, you know, you got a kid that's just making you nuts, and it's not really nap time or dinner time or bedtime. You know, just hold them and talk to them and rub them while you're doing it, and everything is nice again. I think that's one of the the be, I, your profession is so exciting. I think <laughs> Thank because you. you know, I think in our modern society, the only touch we think about is sexual touch. Yeah. We don't realize how important it is. You know, even your friend. You know, just uh -huh. giving them that hug, rubbing their back or whatever. And it makes a difference in your world. It makes a whole big difference. I tell you, it does. It really changes. It. And it teaches our little ones safe touch. My mom and my dad, when they touched me, I didn't feel this way. I don't feel uncomfortable. What kind of touch is this? And it puts a red light up for them when our little ones are little. They say, uh-uh, no, mm-mm. 
my great, I guess I wish I could have bought my great grandbaby. She's three and she's in this dance competition and she's very touch, touchy and, and very, when she, her social ability as a three year old is outstanding. I mean, no, no one is an enemy to her. No one. When it comes to little kids, you know how little kids will kind of shy away. She's very open. But I've watched her sometimes when, you know, somebody has touched her inappropriately or they've hit her or something or, or did something and that may, and she'll say it. She'll voice it. She'll be like, don't do that anymore. I don't feel comfortable with you. I mean, she uses these big words, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. That didn't make me feel very good. My Nana does not do that to me. She calls me Dia. My Dia doesn't do that. And she'll walk away. I mean, she's just very, and it's amazing to see her three years old. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that because, yeah, you're, you know, little kids are usually kind of follow suit, but she's not one. And I think it makes a big difference when, because she was massaged from day one all the way through, so makes a difference <laughs> and I think it makes a happier world <laughs> too yeah what is so. the the idea of always going down we're doing things away from the heart as you get older you need we need more circulation so we do the massage more stroking to okay. the, towards the heart for the babies we're doing more away to okay. the circulatory system okay she asked what why do we do uh, the strokes away from the heart and that's because with babies, they don't need the extra circulation. But as we get older, like me, I'm old, we need that. So that's why we do more, with adults, I do more of the strokes towards the heart. Yeah. But babies away. Yeah, always down and away. And remember, nice and slow. Nothing fast. Okay? <laughs> okay. Well, if that's all the questions. I hate for, I know the babies don't want me to stop talking. <laughs> how old is your baby? It's two months. Two months, two. exactly how old are you? Um, August 12th, I mean, uh, April 12th. Oh, okay. okay. April 4th. Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah. So you guys were in the same time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Were you here? Or? Yep. Oh, yeah. We were here too. Yeah. I was here a long time. Oh, no. <laughs> You breastfeeding, breastfeeding? No, I'm bottle feeding. Okay. Okay. I'm breastfeeding through the bottle. Okay. Okay. And things are going okay? And yeah, we found out she has reflux, so okay. I don't know if the massage will help at all. Okay. Get those feet in there. Yeah. yeah. He has reflux, too. Does he? Mm -hmm. I was looking at that bottle, the special bottle. It's a Dr. Yeah. Brown's bottle. Dr. Brown. Okay. Yeah. He had a milk allergy too, so he was real okay. gassy. Okay. And these bottles help reduce that. Okay. Did you get that online? Uh, they have them at just Walmart too. Oh, I bought mine on Amazon, but they have them everywhere. Okay. Now they um, didn't recommend any medicine. Um, they switched him to Nutramagen. Okay. And um, he's taking Zantac too, but it doesn't really do a whole lot of good. And the next thing was Prevacid, but he wasn't really bad enough. That he, he's st kind of started to outgrow it a little bit, I think. So okay. Yeah, we, just we keep found that out on our own. All the time. We just, he's never laying flat. Yeah, right. could, yes. he, it's like if you lay him flat, he's going to be fussy, but if you put him, he sleeps in the car seat. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll wait it up. Her for yeah, I'll wait it up. Yeah. We had the same car seat, and I actually just kind of put books under the back of it to tip it up just a little tiny bit more, and then he sleeps in there, and he just loves to sleep in there. What he likes. Well, try that. Try the feet. Try doing that uh, stroking of the feet. And, uh, of course, the, your esophagus and your gastrointestinal area would be right in the middle of the foot here. And then I love also on on, on, on gassy and and reflux babies, the solar plex is right here under the big toe. And what I, uh, reflux is definitely just coming from, they're stressed. I think they, they consumed a lot of stress during birth. And so they're holding that in because they have not yet really learned how to release it. When we do bigger people, when they come in for acid reflux, they're creating a lot of acid. And most of the time when they create that acid is when, got bills to pay and the kids and the house bill and that's just everything's going and so they're creating all of that asset and I think that's what tends to happen but when we tend to get them to a place where they can find that calmness the acid does not you know grow back up as much so it doesn't burn the esophagus and all that so so what you're doing is good and if he's growing out of it that's even better yeah
So, yeah. Yeah, because this is all new to us because our babies didn't have gas. They didn't have acid reflux. They didn't have it. You know, we just powdered and pooped them. And, okay. and throughout this whole yeah. thing, Joy will tell me, well, you know you're not supposed to do that. I'm like, it's yeah. a wonder babies survive before the 21st yeah. century. Yeah. <coughs> I came from the day when they used to birth the baby and they used to take the baby like this. And remember? Yeah. Yeah. No, they don't do that no more. <laughs> That's child abuse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a good Saturday. I hope that you will massage your baby so that your massage your baby will come one day and massage me. And I'll be like, your parents taught you massage, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Did you guys have any questions? You're okay with everything? Yeah. Thank okay. how heavy it is already and he's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, when he gets to be two years old I'm gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs>